We just checked out and we're waiting here until we meet Shane because Shane's going to show us the um, Players Club next door. But I, this room is open for now and I just wanted to come back in here because they really did say this was a coup to have this show here. And I like the, what it says here. It says the 57 gouaches and charcoal studies of the regions of Spain, you know, were saved. And, and it's just that they wanted to make sure that people knew that works on paper were important. But I just wanted to like come in here and bask in these again, because who knows when people are gonna be able to see these again. They have been hidden for decades, I guess they, you know, I guess there was back and forth about, I don't know, how important they were because they're on paper and blah, blah, blah. But I mean, that is probably one of my missions is to elevate works on paper so that, you know, that they're, they're respected and stuff. But I thought I'd quickly go in here and please visit the Hispanic Society of America Oh, no, it's just Hispanic Society Museum. It's free. And you can see the epics there. It's a humongous room that Huntington commissioned to do these epics. And the room is built around those. Those things are ginormous and they go 360 around that room. So please make a effort to go see that museum. It's the last day, and so I decided I have to go up to the fourth floor. Kathy Anderson's sister, probably going to clean Kathy. <laughs> Kathy Anderson's sister had a studio up here. Oh my god, it even goes higher. Oh, that's probably the, um, look at that room. That's pretty tiny. I think probably... These are studios. Although I hear someone taking a shower. Look at this built-in furniture. I'm pretty sure this was Kathy's studio. I mean, knowing um, Kathy's sister, Joni, because she had a studio that was fantastic that looked out over Gramercy Park. I mean, with the giant skylights and the little loft and, I mean, I probably have photos of it somewhere. Oh, hello. What's this? This is somebody's studio. Well, this is a nice painting. And this leads down to the third floor. Um, I kind of want to go in there. It says out of order. Look at there's a nice charcoal. Oh, I bet you. Oh, this is archival. So this is where they keep. Okay, I mean, I would love to go in there, but I'm not brave enough. Oh, well, there's something stained glass. I would hate to have someone, like, chastise me. <laughs> Even though I am so nosy. Anyways, she did have a gorgeous studio up here. I mean, just like the life. But then they raised the rent. And, you know, they kind of forced her out. But, hey, you know, it's amazing this location. To be able to have a studio here. Okay, so that was the fourth floor, and this is like the old mansion. And where Shane's studio is, it looks like it's been connected, right, through a corridor. And that's sort of like the, you know, adjunct or whatever. Scott is reading Shane's book, The Art of Seeing, his notes on Everett Raymond Kinsler. And we are just, you know, we kind of checked out at 11. We probably could have stayed in the room, but to be honest, it's so much nicer to kind of sit here and just look at the paintings. And then we'll go meet Shane at his apartment. Yep, charming little space. I think they repolstered these chairs. 
because I really like this fabric and I, it looks really new. I think you see how those chairs that look a little bit more worn out. So yeah, these chairs look nice now. I'm back in my studio, it is Saturday, and I really just wanna talk a little bit about the trip because it was so fun. And I haven't had a trip like that in a, in a while. Our trip to DC and visiting Kwong and Adrian last fall was, was pretty fun. Um, I think I've become a little jaded about traveling. I don't know, I always think something's gonna go wrong. I always think that flights are gonna get canceled. I always, you know, but I'm trying to change that whole energy of me going into trips. Anyways, yesterday, I'm gonna put, yesterday was the last day and we had a kind of a slow morning and then we met Shane at his studio and cause he had offered the day before to show us the Players Club because we had never seen it. And it was the type of thing, so the Players Club is right next to, if you're facing it, it's right to the left of the National Arts Club and it's so, very, very nice, high class um, private club. And I mean, one time Kathy even tried to get us over there and tried to name drop Peggy Kinsler, but they wouldn't let us in. So, but it's the type of thing where you're just like looking through the windows and when you walk by, um, you can see this amazing bar, like in the slightly lower level. And you can see the paintings on the walls and the pool table and the leather chairs and, the t and, um, you know, it's very uh, aspirational. And um, well, anyway, so Shane definitely invited us to, to have a tour and Peggy came with. And I, I mean, it is one of the biggest regrets that I have is that Shane had asked Scott and I to do, so what they do is they um, honor like actors, you know, famous people, celebrity, people who are in the arts and um, possibly past members maybe. But so each year or every couple of years, they honor these um, people it, to do portraits of them and then they hang them on the wall. And, and I mean, Shane has done dozens and, and Everett Raymond Kinsler has them all over and we just couldn't do it last year. And I mean, it really is. I'm like, I hate that I, we weren't able to do it. It was bad timing and we were already going on a trip. And so I'm like, please, please, please invite us again. And we got to meet um, a Michael, who's one of Shane's friends, who is a photographer. And I guess is also on the board there. And I'm like, please, I wanna go back. Well, anyways, I'm only reason I'm talking about this is because I'm going to put together my third part of the video and I did not video in the Players Club for a couple reasons. First of all, I was too nervous to ask if I could. And second of all, um, I re Shane was saying so many stories, talking about every painting, talking about pieces of furniture, you know, the dedication of a room to Everett Raymond Kinsler, Sargent painted there. You know, these are the Sargent paintings and that he, he um, designed and uh, kind of made the ideas and at the Players Club for the stuff he did at the Boston Library. And there was so much history that I didn't want Shane to feel self-conscious. And also, you know, when you video and you're taking lots of photographs, it's like you are not really present. And so I was like, I've got to be present for this. And I don't want, I just want to hear him and I want to absorb it all. But I did tell him, I said, Shane, you have to have you and Peggy together talking about these stories talking about the history of it and have it be on video and just walk 
walk through. Well, anyways, on the third floor, there is the original room that Edwin Booth, so, okay, I'll keep this short, but Edwin Booth, the older brother of the famous Booth who shot President Lincoln, was this extremely famous actor and obviously very rich because he owned this house. It was a private house at one time. And, um, and so they had his original room. It had been completely untouched and you had to get a key to go in. So he showed us that room and they, and Peggy said that that actual, there was a skull in the corner where Edwin Booth, you know, did Shakespeare and Hamlet. You know, that was the skull that he used and, and they'd obviously been painted, you know, in paintings and, oh my God, I'm kind of overwhelmed, but I just, since I wanted to explain why there isn't a video, and I was very disappointed that we couldn't take photos or do anything in, inside of the New Egg Gallery, but um, that was a wonderful day with Kathy and Stephanie and a wonderful night at Shane's uh, studio. And then the Selma Gundy was a little bit overwhelming, but I'm gonna put that together now and um, I hope you guys enjoy it. And I just, you know, we were glowing. It was a perfect trip and now I have to finish a piece for a photograph for on Monday because it's a deadline for the catalog for the Prix de West and that's been hanging over me so I have to think about that's always tricky for me deadlines all that stuff hmm okay just wanted to tell you guys
We're waiting. We got here early, which is fine. Could we just sit and wait comfortably while our flight is getting ready? Thank you so much for watching my YouTube videos. I love it when people write me about them and I have fun doing them. So I'm so glad that people are enjoying them. Please subscribe and follow me and Scott on our Instagram pages, our website, and also on our patreon.com forward slash Susan Lyon.